Okay, three or four red bananas. Yeah, make it so it's like a tapioca pudding consistency. I sprayed a loaf pan and I'm preheating an oven to 350. Stick of butter, three quarter cup pushed in. I might have to add one more brown sugar really packed in there. Uh, in the past, I used a half a cup of brown and half a cup of white, but I'm going all brown and, in and increasing it to three quarters of a cup. So I cream the butter first, and then I add in the brown sugar and cream them together. And that's how it looks. And by the way, I have to make things as easy as possible. So both my butter and the eggs I'll use in a future step were brought to room temperature first. Okay, I'm gonna add these eggs in one at a time. One teaspoon vanilla, and then I'll give it a little bit more mix. Stir in the bananas into this mixture. About one and a third quarter cups of flour. It could have gone probably a little more because the mixture is pretty wet from those super ripe bananas. So to the flour in this little mound <laughs> is a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon just because I like cinnamon. Next I'm going to mix these, but don't over stir. Just do it till it's color, you know, mixed. Okay, all the ingredients are now incorporated, and boy, did that mixture of banana and cinnamon smell good. While pecans are my favorite nut, I think walnuts go really well in banana nut bread. But you can leave them out. You could add chocolate chips if you wanted, or neither one, just have banana bread. Okay, the dough's in the pan, all leveled out. Ooh, that's a dark walnut. I think I might pick that out. <laughs> I picked that out because it was shell. All right, into an oven. Now I have 50 to 60 minutes to clean up and um, wait for it to get done. Well, it definitely smells done. Oh, <laughs> the heat. Let's get it out. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Better than anyone I've ever made before. Um, so let's check and see if she's done. Came out completely clean. I think it's done. All right, I'm going to put it on a cooling rack. Okay, 15 minutes here, and then we will turn her out. There she is, a nice dense loaf of banana bread. Banana nut bread. Smells really good. Hard to wait for it to cool. <laughs> Cup is ready. <laughs> All right, let us cut into this. <laughs> Sorry. Hard to hold the phone and do something at the same time. Let's see how he looks. <laughs> the dogs say it's their dinner time. All right, looks pretty good. Mm. Tastes good. Um, hmm. Definitely getting some cinnamon, but also the a banana. A little bit of the salt flavor. That's my only downside to um, banana bread having salt in it. I, I don't like salt in it. But I think you have to use it because you're using the baking soda. Um, yeah, the, the I was afraid the cinnamon would be overpowering, but it's not. It's not that sweet. So, like I said, I just used three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, but. Uh, I think a lot of traditional recipes call for half a cup of granulated and half a cup of brown. Also, while it is nice and moist, um, I did have used to use an old recipe, which I don't even have anymore, that called for a little bit of oil. And I think that was even more moist. But yeah, I don't know. Definitely edible. <laughs> Thanks for watching.